So first step, let's create a new sequence and here I'm going to go to settings, time base, make sure it's sturdy and now let's click on OK. Now next step, let's add text. And now here, I'll type. Now let's center. And now here in Excel, type this and shift to select and just grab this to 61. Now copy and here paste all right and i don't need this one and uh, now that we have uh, this just gonna make this then let's say one minute And now we're going to add a keyframe here, but before doing so, let's actually grab this so we know exactly where is located. Just helps us to locate this number. So we're not, we're not moving. So it's we're more precise. Now let's click here. We added a keyframe move at the end. of our video uh, we can also type here uh, we can type uh, one and I think uh, no uh, one period period I believe So one period period and now it's right at the end I don't know what I changed the cursor again and now it's right at the end and now we're gonna have to and it's not it's really is or okay and uh, and now we're going to have to move this also click on this for me it lags when I select that and let's just grab like this and this right over here now to see um, each number at a time we're going to have to use a masking technique we're going to have to add a rectangle uh, from here from here you can add a rectangle and it's pretty cool and uh, by the way uh, I forgot to mention if you want to see the grid here press on your keyboard control plus R and select uh, this all right and um, now click on this uh, shape we created and select or just check this mask with shape and here of course it's a good idea to with select here and just uh, move like this and we can also get rid of this uh, all right then now next step go to effects and here write posterize and grab this one posterize time select uh, this uh, one and just double click now here we have to enter one and I think this should work so yeah it works
And uh, last, uh, lastly, what I would like to do is because it's too small this, so just don't select anything here and just click on this. And and now I changed here the font with this one and still works. I just have to re enable this one here. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.